Mushrooms have been in cultivation for over 13,000 years, but it's highly likely that you've only ever tried portobellos or button mushrooms. Well, this is something a little bit different. These are oyster mushrooms, and they're from Swan Valley Gourmet Fungi, and they are just fantastic to taste. Very, very meaty, and if you come down here, you can actually give it a try yourself. It's really different. Mmm. Delish. Dave, tell us about these mushrooms. They're a bit different to the traditional buttons and yeah, portobellos. Right. They, um, these ones actually need light to grow. Okay. So you've got to grow them indoors. Um, they spend most of their uh, life in the dark, but when they're exposed to light, that's what causes them to fruit. Uh -huh. And they're also quite a bit meatier than normal mushrooms. A lot chewier when you cook them. Right. And the more you cook them, the sort of meatier they become. Um, yeah, they're oyster mushrooms, just grown on a block of wheat straw. I think that's amazing in itself in that you can actually grow them, you know, as your own kit or you can come down to the markets and buy them off you fresh as well. You can, you can buy fresh, you won't get any fresher than growing them yourself. Uh -huh. so and you've been picking them this morning, haven't you? I've been picking them since five o'clock this morning. You're going to cook Much a few up? Much to my wife's annoyance. <laughs> <laughs> I'll cook a few up for you for sure. All right. and I'll pick some off the uh, bag there and they'll be very fresh, with a little bit of butter and garlic, they're quite tasty. Sounds good. You can grow these at home too. Dave sells oyster mushroom kits, and I've gotten three crops from mine at home. Why not give it a go yourself? Just drop into the Kalamunda Farmers Market next Sunday morning and ask Dave all about them.